And the federal government says it will fish out and deal ruthlessly with those behind the attack of the Correctional Center and police headquarters in Oweri. Minister of Interior Ralph Herbershala disclosed this while assessing the level of destruction by unknown gunmen at the facility on Monday. Correspondent Prince Uba reports. It was a busy day in Oweri, the capital city of Imo State. About 24 hours after year to be identified gunmen visited terror on the city. First was Mohamed Adamu. As at the time he arrived here, he was the Inspector General of Police. His priority was to boost the morale of his officers and men, urging them to be ruthless in dealing with the criminals. We came to encourage you that this group of people that take the light and attacking security agents and security facilities you should deal with them ruthlessly. You should never, never spare them. You should use all the force available to you to make sure that you incapacitate them. Before he left, the federal government had announced a new man to lead the country's police force. The next is the Minister of Interior, who assured that the government will do everything within its powers to clown down on the perpetrators of the act. Unprovoked attacks on the institutions of state, especially the law enforcement institution, is nothing short of a declaration of war on the Nigerian state and our people. These acts, therefore, are capable of unleashing anarchy and gravely imperil the lives and property of the Nigerian people. The perpetrators are without doubt the enemies of the people and should be treated as such. The federal government will react appropriately by going after these criminals and make them to face the full wrath of the law. We will leave no stone unturned. On the part of the people, the collapse of security architecture is becoming worrisome as they call on the security agencies to adopt more proactive ways of arresting the ugly trend. If we intimidate our security agencies to the level that they are now cowed, they are no longer ready to carry out their duties, it simply means that we will be, the society will be porous. Government must go back to the drawing board, re-strategize, sit down and find a solution to some of these problems. The, the country has to wake up to its responsibility. Those entrusted with authority and power to be able to deal with the problems confronting the nation, have a responsibility, they are answerable to us, the populace, to ensure that we are protected, lives and properties are protected. Intelligence gathering and sincere collaboration among security agencies are always identified as key. If government will succeed in transforming so much talk on improving security into measurable results, and the events of the past few weeks in the region makes the situation desperate and more demanding on security agencies. Prince Uba, TVC News, Uweri.